When the head of Philadelphia's housing authority took a leave of absence in August, he claimed it was because his own home was on the verge of foreclosure. If that was unexpected news here, what made headlines next rattled the fourth largest public housing authority to its core. The executive director uh, subsequently uh, uh, kind of disappeared uh, for uh, a few days. Uh, and uh, since that time, it's been kind of one revelation after another. An investigation into Carl Green's 12-year run at the top of the authority concluded he was a, quote, serial sexual harasser who spent almost a million dollars in public money to settle four harassment claims against him. But a housing authority in turmoil is not only a problem in the city of brotherly love. Government records reviewed by the Associated Press found dysfunctional housing agencies operating across the country with untrained staff and shoddy record keeping. Records show the U.S. spends hundreds of millions of dollars each year to prop up housing authorities that lack even the most basic fiscal safeguards. The Department of Housing and Urban Development calls these agencies troubled and has identified 146 of them nationwide. We've been looking at the Philadelphia Housing Authority uh, for quite a few months now, uh, and uh, they're not even classified as a trouble housing authority. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa is a leading voice on Capitol Hill, pressing the Obama administration to reform the process. We appropriate money for housing. We set up housing policy uh, and then uh, expect the president and the cabinet uh, to carry it out. But quite frankly, uh, nobody's watching over to see if they're doing what Congress intended. We put in place very stringent procedures to hold uh, the troubled housing authorities far more accountable than the HUD did. Secretary Sean Donovan cites the New Orleans Public Housing Authority as one where the government has taken swift action. We've turned it upside down. We've sent in a team of a dozen national uh, experts and leaders to turn that around, and we've seen significant results. But New Orleans is one of only six housing authorities that the government has placed into receivership, essentially taking control of the agency. Grassley says more needs to be done. The Congress ought to be not just turning everything over to the executive branch and letting this money be misused uh, and uh, housing authorities not being properly managed. Uh, we, uh, when, it's, when that's the case, we got to find out and put the heat on to get the job done right. Meanwhile, in the wake of the Green scandal, Philadelphia's dysfunctional authority faces certain reform. Take his name off the board and look for somebody that's going to help the people because we need some help. But residents here and in other troubled projects can only wonder what years of mismanagement is doing to their homes, not to mention the billions in taxpayer dollars supposed to help pay for them. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press.